everyone in this video i am going to show you how to set up your android sdk environment in windows os so the latest available version um this time is android 2.3 anyway i am having a phone which is running on 2.2 but anyway we i'm just going to download 2.3 for you now and anyway since it it has its backward compatibility we can just go ahead and write our programs there so just go to android.com on developers from that sdk just choose your download so for windows it comes in you can do it either way you can download zip or you can download installer so when i tried with the installer it, it had some issues like it is not able to find the jdk home in your machine so i was quite happy with the zip file itself so just go and download this zip file it it is about 32 oh mb so i anyway i already had downloaded that zip file so i'm just going to show you how to unzip this thing and run your android sdk manager so i'm um, once you download that sdk uh, zip file it will come to your downloads then copy it to any of your uh, free drives i'm just choosing a b drive and then paste it and then extract okay when you download that sdk since it's only just 30 mb it has only the tools component after um, after running that sdk manager you need to add the platform version and like 2.2 or 2.3 or 3.0 so you have to choose and configure and add on uh, to that base components okay now i have just unzipped that one now uh, inside that folder all you can see is that sdk manager so uh this contains that add ons right now i don't have any add ons installed to it and platforms no platforms and tools and tools you can see just it's a base version when when you download that 30 mb zip file it has only the android development tool but it doesn't have anything um related to 2.2 or 2.3 platform so only through sdk manager you have to add that uh, components manually so uh, just run your sdk manager Uh, now it is refreshing the sources and it is looking for whether um, the available uh, platform components now it will give you a suggestions like what are all the components that you want to add to your uh, workspace your installation so let's uh, hang on for a while mm, so it's fetching from the repository and it will give you a list of components so i'm going to um install 2.3 for my installation so so okay here is a list of components available okay so um the anyway what which version i am going to do 2.3.3 i am interested in 2.3.3 so i am going to skip all the other components except 2.3.3 so um just so you select 3 and reject this thing and 2.3. So that API is API 10, which have so reject all the other thing. Reject API 3 and 2. Documentation for. API 11. I don't want this thing. Um, then samples for API 10. I want, but I don't need a uh, samples for a API 11. So this is around 8 MB. So all the other samples I can reject, reject, reject. And these are all the APIs, uh, Google APIs that you will be. you can install it later when you do some uh, application which requires a google map or some other google related apis that you want to call from your application that you just go through this apis and download you can in any any time you can just go ahead and install those apis and this is a usb driver this i um, needed like you need this api uh, this package in order to uh, debug your application running on your mobile phone through usb so i am going to um install this one 
as well as these mac at packages these are all the thing like license everything this won't um, occupy much space i think so better go ahead with the whatever the current thing so uh, let's revise this i'm going to install the platform uh, tools revision anyway i have the platform tool the latest tools and anyway some revisions are there so platform 2.3.3 .3 is the latest one and 2.3.1 is seems to be obsolete so i'm just skipping that one 2.2 .2 is the one which i have um in my phone but anyway 2.3 will work fine with 2.2 .2. that backward compatibility will be there so just i'm going to install everything so what it does now it's like it is going to whatever the components that we had selected in the previous screen that it is going to install into your um, the platforms the platform it will 2.3 it will go to this one and then add-ons if you have selected any add-ons like a uh, samsung or some third party plugins the add-ons it will go to that add-ons page now now it is downloading all the platform um, tools that we had selected it will take a while like it will may take a dip and uh, some time depending on the size of the each component so we will see once it it got downloaded everything okay fine um